Earlier in the show, Armina and Heather tried out a new at-home instant root cover-up made by Tim2. They're joining us in our audience, and so we're going to see the results, starting with Armina, your before picture compared to your hair after the treatment. Wow. Okay, very nice. Yeah, I and like that match, too. I mean, that's a very good... And let, let's look at Heather's before and afters as well. And again, this just from a few minutes ago. So this was an almost instant change. Here's Heather before and after. <laughs> Armina, what do you think? I love it. It's easy, effective. I usually color my hair once every five weeks. But the first week into the coloring, my roots start showing up. So I'm definitely going to use this as I see the roots coming out. It's great. Heather, is this something that you would use again? Because obviously this is a short-term solution, right. and you even mentioned before, you know, you, you, it always seems so easy in the videos online. Yeah, yeah I would definitely use it um, in between coloring. It costs a lot to just get your roots done, almost as much as to get a full head. So I would definitely use this. Um, this color was to match my roots. They also, he told me, have color to match my highlights as well. So it would definitely be an I'm option. I'm impressed with the match. I think it looks yeah. great. I, I think it looks got. great. But you know what? As an African American woman who spends a ton of money at the beauty salon and a ton of. A I ton don't of, see any roots there. <laughs> I just came from the beauty salon. Okay, all there. well, there, there all you there go. There. You know, I wonder if this impacts the health of your hair. And I would also be curious to know, you know, how often can you do this? It's temporary. It only lasts 24 hours. Made from products that are safe, that mm -hmm. aren't, and you're not using a ton of it. Probably less damaging than what they're using in the salon. Yeah, so the company says that the ingredients in these pods are similar to that found in makeup. I've got the list here, a lot of chemical names. Um, but Drew, you always have advice when it comes to things like makeup or any product you're putting on your For shelf. sure. Whenever you're trying a new product, whether it be for your skin or on your hair, you need to do a little test dose on yourself. Make sure that you're not reacting to it. Make sure that it's not damaging your skin or your hair. And then I know all women want to know how much it costs, right? The airbrush makeup innovation, um, it's 195 bucks per report. But clearly, ladies, you are happy with your results. Thanks for trying it out. Yeah. Yeah. We'll be right back.